Hi everybody, Michael B. The Game Genie here. Thank you so much for watching the video. Who wants a free Arcade 1UP Deluxe Cab? Well, if you're a social media influencer, you should probably check your emails because supposedly Arcade 1UP have been sending out emails offering free Deluxe Cabs for positive reviews on TikTok and Instagram. And I'll tell you more about this right after this. So that's right guys, in today's video we're talking all about the news that broke yesterday about RK1UP's new marketing strategy of targeting social media influencers to make videos that are positive based on the new deluxe line of cabs on TikTok and Instagram. In return, they will receive a free deluxe cabinet. But before we get into that, I want to say thank you so much to everybody for checking out the video. Guys, I always appreciate your support. And if this is your first time to the channel and you like what you see, go ahead, subscribe. Click the bell for notifications, all that YouTube jazz. So this story was broken yesterday by Home Arcade and Arcade 1UP YouTuber The Rexer Show, seen here at Evo in Las Vegas with his friends, UAG, another Arcade 1UP YouTuber, and OTG, as well as B Kong, who everybody knows from his work with Arcade 1UP as well. So guys, late last night, The Rexer Show was joined by his friend Kev Gret and our community friend, the one and only Glenn Planamento, Glenn's Retro Show, where they talked about this email that Rex is claiming he received from Arcade 1UP promising him a deluxe cabinet for the purposes of review, provided he follows a direct set of rules and talks about the new deluxe cabs in a very positive way. Hold on just one second, guys. I want to get this ad off the screen that Rex has in his video. So, guys, I have some stills from last night's show that were sent to me by friend and fellow Arcade 1UP Canadian fan page member Mario Reno that basically outline what was sent to Rex in his email. It basically uh, gives him the opening to say who we are, the offer of the free deluxe cabinet, and then it's going to go on and show more information. So... Moving on to the next one, deliverables, explaining what is expected of the person. Make it personal. Be true to yourself. We trust you to be authentic, creative, and fun. Think outside the box. Highlight core talking points that resonate with you. For the video, uh, film vertically. This is for social media because on uh, Twitter, Instagram, TikTok, whichever social media platform they're going to do, maybe it'd be a YouTube short, they want to, you know, highlight that phone perspective. They're trying to resonate with younger a younger audience. Showcase the product within the first three seconds of the video. Explain what our mission and vision are, valuable information, and show how amazing quality our products are, as well as the app function. So they're really focusing on showing off the app. Mention and tag our one up official. Add the hashtags, our one up 80s nostalgia, which is... Absolutely fascinating to me because you know how personally I feel Arcade 1UP have forgot about the 80s and aren't focusing them at all on them at all. So it's interesting to see this show up in some of their marketing material as they're trying to, I guess, get outside of that line of thinking that they uh, don't have any love for the 80s. They don't, but here we are. <laughs> Anyways, moving on to the next slide, don't uh, avoid wearing apparel with any visible logos. This is common practice for sponsor videos. They always tell you that. They want you to just wear plain clothes because they don't want to get into a situation where something has to be blurred out or you're showing other product. No profanities nor derogatory comments towards any religion, culture, race common practice here avoid mentioning or comparing to other brands if you do be respectful that's fine actually that's a good message it's not like they're telling you shit on uh, at game shit on i arcade do not speak about the time spent building the arcade <laughs> that one's just funny they want it to seem like it's easy to assemble some people can get them built in like 40 minutes it always takes me like two and a half hours maybe i just suck at this but i've built like 45 so i don't know do not add text boxes logos gifts or stickers to the video I'll only add the info, the description of your post. Core talking points. These arcade games are perfect for home. I would tell you more about Stringer Films. Um, $2 Super Chat to Rex. Uh, arcade 1UP just reported they were hacked today. And we'll get into that. Core talking points. These arcade games are perfect for use. They're affordable. They don't take up too much space unless you have a glut of them like I did. Multiple games. Each machine has a wide range of games outside the main products. So they're like mini multicades. These look great everywhere, plus it's fun and unique to add to home decor. Level the playing field between your parents. 
common practice for sponsored videos they give you some core talking points to basically they want you to include in the video but they want you to put your own spin on it and then we have the campaign process accept your offer above and click apply once you've received your product start creating the first draft of your content after submitting your content for approval and this is the thing most people will take um umbrage with here is the fact that videos have to be reviewed now uh, anybody that actually does real reviews of products will tell you that's an immediate no like say for example um like give uh, give you an example someone reached out to me with an arcade cabinet say it's at games and they're like we want to review your video your review video before you put it out that's an immediate no uh, i mean in the unwritten book of youtube ethics that's something you say no to if someone wants you to do a sponsored video just talking about the product that's fine you can be clear and transparent about that but when it comes to a video you're actually going to title as a review and then they're asking for you to submit it to them for approval before submitting it that's just something we youtubers don't do after you're submitting your content for approval and receiving the green light publish your content following publication guidelines and timelines uh, which I didn't see in the email that he received, but I guess it's in the package if you agree to it. And there's a picture of a deluxe cab for no reason. That's basically the content of the show. Anyways, guys, what's fascinating about this, as you know, I said earlier, Rex is an arcade one up YouTuber, which is true, but in a much different sense than other people. He actually doesn't like the product, and uh, he has a you know, personal grudge with the most of his videos are negative videos about Arcade 1UP. So it absolutely um, confuses me as to why somebody in Arcade 1UP or somebody affiliated with Arcade 1UP, like a third party partner, would send this promotional email to him. <laughs> if it is somebody in Arcade 1UP, they're definitely probably getting canned today. So guys, promotional videos are standard fare for YouTube. A lot of YouTubers have done them. I'm bringing up a video I did here for the Oculus Quest 2 and Zen Pinball FX in VR Star Wars brand. This was offered to me by a marketing firm that were working with Oculus and Zen Pinball at the time. They reached out to several YouTube uh, YouTubers, content creators, whatever you want to call them. I know myself, Cool Toy, and Nostalgia all did this program, but you will notice in this video, I never called it a review. None of us did because we weren't allowed to call it a review. We had to be very clear that the video was sponsored by Oculus, and we also had to put up the paid promotion tag in the screen. That's normally how this is done. If you're going to make a sponsored video or promotional video for a company on YouTube. Man, I was a lot thinner and better looking back then when I did that video. <laughs> I've aged horribly since then. Anyways, in turn for my promotional video, I received an Oculus Quest 2 and also a copy of Star Wars Pinball in VR, and that was the arrangement. But of course, I followed the appropriate guidelines and did that. The question is, this email that Arcade one up apparently sent out did they do anything different here uh, i'm not 100 percent sure i mean i will leave that up to you guys but it certainly is coming at a very bad time where arcade one up is promoting to the community that they're trying to be transparent and they're trying to uh, bring fans and trust back in that this email would go public and show that they are looking for positive videos made about their products with something in receipt now it doesn't say that it has to be a youtube video there's not a lot of information there on the deliverables and what was shown but certainly it does seem that there's an air in the video that they want you to speak positively about the product and there is a reward for doing so the other question is is this real so here's some things i want to say about this for the real side okay there is more things campaigns goal these are some of the slides that i missed so Everything from this campaign package seems pretty familiar with similar campaign packages I've received from marketing firms and companies before about doing a promotion of this nature. So I have to be honest with you, this seems legit, absolutely legit. I don't think this is something somebody crafted and created to create a narrative or a story. This looks like a real promotion. 
So guys, another piece that adds legitimacy to this email the Rexa Show received is the promotional images used within the email aren't easy to acquire unless you have access to Eric K. one ups database of promotional materials for these cabinets or you have access to the Dropbox where they're provided to uh, either marketing teams or YouTube influencers. As you can see from this image, it's a wide shot of two people playing Mortal Kombat with the Warner Brothers branding down in the corner. Now, your average person would not have access to this image in this capacity. I'll give you an example. If you go to the Arcade 1UP page itself you can get access to this picture however you'll notice it's a crop version with no warner brothers branding so that email obviously came was from somebody that at least have access to rk one ups promotional materials as it's not available to the regular individual to further tie in with legitimizing this email and this campaign, it's pretty clear that Eric K. one ups strategic initiative with TikTok is in play here. You can see all long-form videos. Eric K. one up recently have really, really been stepping up their game to increase their brand awareness on this social platform, maybe get some new users involved. So reaching out to social media influencers to try to make content and then direct it back to Eric K. one ups TikTok channel certainly does line up and make sense. And then on top of that, I'm sure most of you in the community already know your average gamer who was in the picture with Rex at the beginning of the video, but he's been doing these arcade one up uh, community challenges through TikTok. We've already had one where him and Justin Wong got to play people in Blitz. There's an upcoming one where they're going to be playing Street Fighter 2 Championship Edition. This is also part of arcade one up strategic initiative through TikTok. But the question is, why did the Rexer show receive it? This does seem to be a social media campaign designed around social media such as TikTok, Instagram, maybe Twitter, maybe YouTube Shorts. Now, the only social media that I know that the Rexer show has is his YouTube channel, and he's also got a presence on Twitter where he talks about Arcade One Up and also uh, about other home arcade content creators. But really, that's it. So he seems like a weird candidate to receive this email. The other thing about this email specifically that just uh, creates a little bit of doubt is who exactly is the email from like is it from a marketing firm is it from arcade one up directly is it from tastemakers so we can't really see that so it's a little bit harder to verify the source and uh for whatever reason rexer decided not to share that so if anybody else out there has received this email could you please you know post it in the comments or even write me directly and let me know who this is coming from because i'm genuinely interested so obviously, I think this is pretty interesting news. Good job, Rexer, breaking this story. Obviously, I'm here covering it as well. There is only one thing I did take a little bit of umbrage with that I was a little disappointed to see was there were specific shots thrown at uh, YouTubers and content creators, accusations, you know, questioning their integrity, saying that they're going to secretly accept these deal and uh, do these reviews for the free cabinets and uh it was also said that these people would deny receiving the email so while i do think it's fair to assume that some people will receive an opportunity for this promotion and take it up it's not fair to say that everybody's doing it and it's this big conspiracy and starting a witch hunt i know personally i had someone come into my live stream last night while i was playing the super game room dudes game of the week and asked me if i got an email and i had no clue what they were talking about at the time it kind of caught me off guard of course when i finished my live stream i saw this video went up and it all made since then what I would ask people to do is nobody jump to conclusions and start pointing fingers at people the deluxe cabs are on their way if anybody is going to take arcade one up on this deal follow them on social media you'll see them post in their videos of their deluxe cabs in the next little while the proof is in the pudding you can make your decisions then until then <laughs> don't <laughs> blatantly attack people for no reason anyways guys just a quick little bit of coverage i find this incredibly interesting not that there's anything wrong with this 
kind of promotion other companies have done in the past. I even brought up my own experience with Oculus. It's a pretty common practice. It's just coming at a really weird time with Arcade 1UP where they're trying to promote this community initiative and transparency and something like this does them no favor. So let me know in the comments, do you believe the email is real? Do you believe that Arcade1Up are in fact giving out free deluxe cabs? And if you are a social media influencer or YouTuber, let me know if you've received an email. And, you know, honestly, let me know if you're getting a free deluxe cab. If you are, good for you. That's awesome. Anyways, guys, that's all I had to say today. Thank you so very much for watching. This is Michael B. The Game Genie, and I'll talk to you guys next time.